All right, you guys, so I just bought this engine off Craigslist. It's a B18 C1. It's off of a 2000 GSR. I think I got a pretty good deal on it. The guy said had good compression in all of the cylinders except for cylinder number three. And before I start to break it down to do a rebuild on it, I just want to try and double check the compression before I put it up on the engine stand. So I got the transmission connected here, got the starter connected, and uh, hooked up a power wire to the top of the starter, got a second little wire going to the solenoid for the starter, and my plan is to connect them both together and uh, basically get a set of jumper cables and um, try to jump them from a car battery, see how that goes. Okay, so I got the solenoid wire and the power wire connected to the positive jumper cable. I got the compression tester into cylinder number one. And I'm just gonna try and grab the case of the transmission with the negative and hope for the best. So, getting about 140 PSI on cylinder number one, and uh, from the little that I understand about this, I should have looked up the specs before I started, um, I think that the pressure is supposed to be more around 200 PSI, so I'll check on the specs and see what they should be, and um, I'll go ahead and check the rest of the cylinders and let you know what I find. Okay, so about 210 on cylinder number two. And I was always taught to put the spark plugs back in, only take one spark plug out at a time to get an accurate compression test. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, zero PSI on cylinder number three. and about 210 PSI on cylinder number four. So we got 120 PSI in cylinder number one, 210 in cylinder number two, zero in cylinder number three, and 210 in cylinder number four.